Hello everyone. I am Mr. S. Devendra Prabhu, Assistant Professor, Department of Commerce, KSR College of Arts and Science, Parthana. So welcome to my video. Uh, today we have discussed about the fundamentals of insurance. So uh, first of all, so define insurance. Let me see the insurance, then the characters one by one. Okay, right. The first one is the meaning and the definition. An insurance is a legal agreement between an insurer, that means insurance company, and an insured individual in which an insured receives financial protection from an insurer for the losses may suffer in specific circumstances. Under an insurance policy, the insured needs to pay a regular amount of premium to pay the insurer. The insurer pay a predetermined assured insured is an unfortunate event occurs, such as death of the life insured or damage to the insured of his property. So basically insurance is a for things to give the amount one party to another party to compensate the financial losses or any crisis. So that is the basic concept of the insurance. The next one is the definition. The financial risk and management tool in which the insured, the transfer of risk, potential financial loss to the insurance company that may get in which exchange the monetary companies to known as the premium. So for example, the insurer pay the premium to the insurance company. Suppose anything unexpected loss didn't happen for the company or insurer, the insurer company to pay the compensatory benefit or monetary benefit to the those who are putting the insurance. So that is the concept of the insurance. The next one is a general principles. Now we are discussing about what are the principles of the policies, insurance policies. Right. Then first one is at most good faith, then pro proportionate cautious, insurable interests, indemnity, subrogation, contribution, the loss minimization. We are discussed by one by one. Then first one is at most good faith. This is a primary principle of insurance according to the principle. You have to disclose the all information that is related to the risk to the insurance companies so truthfully. As an insurance company having the first thing to the customer to maintain the good faith. So when the company was trusted the insurance company, then only the people ready to invest or put a policy, get a insurance from the company. So the first thing is at most good faith. The second one is proximate causes. While the calculating the claim for a loss, the proximate causes, that is the cause which is closest to the main reason for the loss should be considered. For example, the some damages or something unexpected loss will happen. For example, nearly 10 lakhs. The company have to pay the amount for premium amount to the insurer. So nearly for the damages, for example, 90 percentage for 85, depends upon the losses. So the, this is called the, the proximate causes. The next one is insurable interest. According to this principle, you must have an insurable interest, the life that insured. That is, you will suffer financially if the insured dies. You can't buy a life insurance policy for a person on whom to have the no insurable interest. The insurance company to provide the insurable interest to the right manner to them, those who are insured. The next one is indemnity. The main motive of this principle is to be put and with the same position financially as you were before the losses. This principle, however, does not apply to the life insurance and the critical health insurance. The indemnity is nothing but it's an, like any damages or anything unexpected things will be happen. The insurance company to provide the monetary or financial benefits to the insurer, those who are get a policy from the company. So this is called an indemnity, right? The next one is subrogation. This principle comes to play when a loss has occurred due to some other person, party, not the insured in such case. The insurance company has to legal right to reach the party to recovery. See those who are, uh, uh, suppose unexpected things will be happen to the company or individual or any party, any third party, the insurance company was liable to pay their compensating the amount to the insurer. So that is called the subrogations. The next one is contribution. According to the principle of contribution, if you have take a insurance from one or more insurer, both the insurer will share the losses in the propagation of their expert recoveries. 
because the insurer can able to take some more policies at the same time the time the insurance company will calculate and to distribute the particular amount to the insurer so that is called the contribution that means the company how the many uh, how the losses will happen we then calculated some amount they have to give to the insurer that is called the contribution the next one is uh, loss minimization you must take all the necessary steps to limit the loss when it is happen you must take all the necessary precautions to prevent the loss even after purchasing the insurance this is the principle of the loss minimization so the principle the main thing is the insurance policies to minimize the loss or deduction of the loss so this, this is the the main concept so thank you so much so thanks to watch the video